What do you do when you get a new assignment for school, college, or university? Do you dive right in and begin drafting from beginning to end? Do you freak out as you've got so many assignments and exams, you just don't know how you'll handle it? Or do you leave it until the last minute and then frantically work away on it, hoping by some miracle your words will all meet the criteria and you'll scrape through again by the skin of your teeth? If this sounds familiar to you, then you're in luck, because today I'm going to tell you how to write an assignment in seven easy steps. Step one, note important details. The first thing you need to do when you receive an assignment is to skim and scan it for important details and note these down. These include the due date, the word limit, the keywords like explain, describe, discuss, compare and contrast, analyze, justify. See if your assignment is formal, where you'll have to write in the third person, or informal, where you can write in the first person. Most written assignments are written in the third person. That means you do not use personal pronouns like I or my. Some oral presentations are informal, where you can write in the first person and use personal pronouns. Step two, plan. Plan out your paragraphs and all the information you will need to include in these. You will need an introduction and conclusion, and in between will be the paragraphs containing all your information. You might like to picture it as a sandwich or hamburger. All the ingredients are placed in a certain order in your lunch, and the top and bottom bun contain it all, just like your introduction and conclusion, so it's ready to eat and digest. Step 3. Research. Don't just rely on the first page that you find on the internet on your topic. Look for information in a variety of sources. Books, journals, databases, newspaper articles, whatever is relevant to your assessment piece should be researched. Don't plagiarize. Do not copy and paste somebody else's work and pass it off as your own. This is plagiarism and a big no-no. Just like you wouldn't take a piece of artwork and try to pass it off as your own, the same applies to information you find in written texts. Step 4. Draft. Your first copy is a draft. It's not going to be perfect, that's why it's called a draft. Transfer the information you have found in your research into complete sentences. Don't write really long sentences. If a sentence goes over 20 words, check it to see if it makes sense and question whether it should be broken into smaller sentences. When typing your assignment on your computer, be sure to continually save your work. Better still, save a backup copy as well on an external hard drive or USB device. Step five, check. Read your work out loud or better still, read it out loud to somebody else. Look for spelling and grammatical errors. If you're using Microsoft Word, you will see a red squiggly line if the word is spelled incorrectly, or a blue or green one if it requires revising. Maybe you left out an apostrophe, or you haven't added the correct punctuation. But just don't rely on this program to check your mistakes. You may have a word spelt correctly, but it may not be the word you meant. This could change the entire meaning of the sentence. If your teacher is checking your draft, ensure that you apply any changes and suggestions that they recommend. Step 6. Edit and redraft. When you redraft your work, take time to go back over the assessment and check that you are addressing the criteria. Have you answered everything the task was asking you to do? Have you written your paragraphs in the teal or peel structure? Have you completed a reference list? Is it typed in an appropriate font size that's not too small or too big and a style that's easy to read? Step 7. Final check 
and submit. Finally, the big day has arrived. If you have worked through the steps of planning, drafting, and writing your assignment, you will be ready to submit it. So, to recap. Step 1. Note important details. Step 2. Plan. Step 3. Research. Step 4. Draft. Step 5. Check. Step 6. Edit and redraft. Step 7. Final check and submit. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to our channel. It's free to subscribe. And be sure to check out our next video on how to write a teal paragraph. Until then, keep up the good work.